What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Tech Teacher and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a soundboard using VoiceMod. This will work whether you have an actual dedicated soundboard like an um, Elgato Stream Deck or if you're just using your um, keys on your keyboard. I'm going to be showing specifically exactly how to set up your actual normal keyboard just to use the keys on there for the sounds so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial by starting out with the downloads you will need as always any links that you will need or any downloads or anything like that will be in the description below so you can go ahead and reference that as you follow along with the video the first thing you're going to want to do is take a look down in that description below and follow the link to the voicemod.net soundboard um, description or download site and just click on get the soundboard wait for a second and then just go ahead and download that to your computer i already have it downloaded and set up so i'm not going to do it again but you do want to go through the entire setup and um once you're done you should have something that looks fairly similar to this now once you're here, you're on, you're really in the home stretch at this point. You want to go um down to the soundboard tab. Yes, VoiceMod does have different voice boxes and um a couple different free ones. That they interchangeably swap out every couple of weeks or every couple of days, something like that. Or you can just buy everything and um always have access to an ever-evolving library of voices and sounds. But we're going to show you a way to do all this for free. So if you click on soundboard, it'll um, open up to your soundboard. It'll give you a couple of them that are free up here. It'll show you a couple of different free like playlist things. Like they have this Santa one that um, I guess is just for Christmas and stuff like that. Then they have the pro sounds over here that I can't actually play because I did not pay for them. But we're going to mainly focus on the My Soundboard tab right over here. Now, why I like VoiceMod so much for the Soundboard feature is because once you have this little tab right over to the right, let's just go ahead and make that bigger, that lets you manually adjust the sounds of each and every um, sound effect that you have. So let's say we're going to go ahead and use this anime one that I used earlier today. But, um,. It's just a little bit too loud so we can go here we can bump it down to 35 um if you want to you can make it mute your voice mute the other sounds i have all my sounds to stop all sounds once i press it so that it doesn't um end up being a million sounds stacked on top of each other especially if i have a looping sound and they're already playing i just want everything to stop so that you can hear that sound specifically and voice mod does a super good job at um making that very streamlined and simple to be able to do um besides just the tab on the right which is super cool you can also um add your key binds which i told you that we would be going over uh, for the anime sound effect wild sound effect right now i just have an l i'm actually gonna delete that later because i use my l but you can have any number of um combination of keybinds that you want on here just by clicking on the sound then coming over here to click add keybind or right here add keybind and then just press a button so we just did the l again and if i was to tap l that plays my sound effect about as simple as it can get now I did run into one hiccup when I was trying to assign a keybind with one of my function keys. No matter how many times I press it, it doesn't work. I hit add keybind, press F6, F7, nothing happens. As soon as I press L or M, then it populates. So that could be a um a um deal breaker as far as if you do not want to use um or if you only wanted to use function keys. I have had no luck with assigning the function keys to my key bind to my key binds for the sound effects through voice mod. So um if you do figure that out, I, I would greatly appreciate if you left a comment down below. But besides that, we're gonna look at how to add your own sounds. Now, voice mod does come with a few free sounds that I showed you a second ago. Most of them are honestly pretty darn useless. So I found a site with a couple of different um, popular sounds that you're able to just download. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that right now. So as always with everything else, we'll have this link down in the, in the description below. And it just has a bunch of different, um, of different sounds that you might be interested in. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and do this um the law and order done done one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, close out of the ad, download that MP3 to wherever you keep your sound effect MP3s at. Then you just wanna open back up voice mod, click on that nice plus arrow, and your sound should be right there. Go ahead and double click on it, and it's that simple. It's a part of your soundboard now, and you can also um set key binds to it and use it in your streams and everything of that nature <clears throat> if you're interested in using your sound effects in discord you're gonna have to adjust a few settings so you want to open up discord hit your user settings and go down to voice and video you're gonna want to turn off your input sensitivity turn off your noise suppression turn off echo cancellation noise reduction and automatic gain control once you have all those things oh and also turn off the um situation once you have all those things turned off you want to go up here to your input device and you want to make sure that you have voice my virtual audio device selected it will um, basically just send all of your audio through voice mod and then if you don't have a voice changer on it just put clean audio pump it straight into discord instead of it coming straight from your mic and this also enables your sound effects to work within discord However, when you are in voice mod, you want to um, hop over to your settings and just make sure that you have your actual um, mic selected and your actual headset selected so that voice mod itself knows where to pull the core voice audio from. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. If you did learn anything new or just generally enjoyed the video, please go ahead and like the video. And as always, if you have any ideas for any future content that you may want to see, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I do read and respond to the vast majority of those comments. So if you have anything on your mind, go ahead and get it off of it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.